Hi everyone and welcome to Chow with Lau. I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're hungry because today we are cooking chicken and sweet corn soup. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are cooking chicken and sweet corn soup. As usual, my recipes are designed as if I'm talking to you in my own room, I'm teaching my friends how to cook. I'm not trying to overcomplicate things, I'm trying to keep things really simple in, and demonstrate it in a way that anybody can follow. I am not a trained chef. I've been around chefs all my life, my whole family are chefs. I'm probably the only one that isn't a chef. But that means I think I know how I can convey these recipes in a way that you guys can understand without stressing you out, without thinking it's arty farty or too convoluted or too difficult to do. I'm here to show you that none of these things are difficult. You just need to know what to do and that's what I'm here for. So without further ado, chicken and sweet corn soup. So what we're going to need for this recipe is we're going to need some chicken. Right. I'm using cooked chicken. This is a whole chicken breast which I've baked in the oven and it's ready to go. Probably going to use around half to three quarters of this. How much you want to put in your soup depends on how much meat you want in it. I, I like um, a kind of medium to heavily meated soup if you like. Um, but you can put in exactly how much you want. I'm gonna slice and dice this into little, little tiny slices so it turns into a soup. If you want bigger chunks, if you expand on this recipe, you can actually turn it into a main course. You can actually have chicken and sweet corn. But today's recipe is for a soup, uh, but you can do what you like. Uh, the other essential ingredient, of course, is sweet corn. We've got a small tin of sweet corn here, drained. Uh, you can use fresh sweet corn if you like. Uh, I know a lot of people use creamed sweet corn, which you can get in the supermarkets. That works really well. Uh, but today we're just using the normal stuff. We've got 500 ml of stock here. I'm using chicken stock. You can use the stock of your choice. Generally, it's a toss up between chicken and vegetable stock. If you want to keep this whole uh, recipe vegetarian, you could even leave out the chicken and just have a, a sweet corn egg drop soup. That's fine. It works really well. We're going to use one egg. We're going to use half a teaspoon of sugar. Okay, about a teaspoon of corn flour and water slurry to thicken. Some salt, a pinch of salt, only a little bit. We don't want to make it too salty. Uh, a little bit of white pepper. White pepper works well in soups. We're not going to use black pepper for this one, uh, but white pepper generally goes well with soups. And a tiny, tiny bit of sesame oil. We're not going to overdo it, but I think we need just a tiny bit of it to give the uh, soup some oomph. And finally, we're gonna garnish it with, normally I would say spring onions, but I'm gonna use chives that my wife Yvonne has grown in her own garden by her own fair hands. So we're gonna finish off with some chives, okay? So without further ado, get your woks ready. So the next stage is to prepare the chicken. Uh, we've already cooked it. Like I said, with this chicken breast, what I've done is bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes until it's done. You could easily use leftover chicken from a roast. You can just strip it into uh, bits of chicken from there. That is also really good. You can use chopped up chicken thigh, whatever you've got to hand. Uh, I had chicken breast, I'm using chicken breast. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to slice it into little, little chunks. So first of all, we're going to slice it into these slices um, across like this. And if you were making um, chicken and sweet corn as a meal, I would leave it like this. These are perfect kind of bite sized if you're going to have it as a main dish. But what we're actually going to do is then slice it again to create little diced bits of chicken. So this is the kind of size that we want for our soup. Okay. Because it's been pre-cooked, we add it towards the end of the cooking process just to warm it up again so that uh, it's nice and uh, hot for the soup, but it's already cooked so we're safe there. Now I'm gonna crack the egg. And give it a bit of a whisk. And the egg we're gonna we're gonna add right at the end 
to help thicken the soup and to give it that typical chicken sweet corn or egg drop uh, finish, that texture. There we go, ready to go. So all we need to do now is to cook it. So for the next stage, the first thing we've got to do is put the chicken stock into the pan. Okay. And get that hot. The great thing about this recipe, if you haven't noticed yet, is we've not actually used any oil. This is a very, very healthy soup recipe indeed. The only oil we're going to put in is that smidgen of sesame oil right at the end. And to be honest, you don't have to have that if you don't want to. But it really is one of the healthiest dishes that you can have. It's wonderful. If I was going to have this as a main dish, I'd probably serve it with some boiled rice. Really, really nice. Actually, one of my guilty pleasures is to have it with chips. That is strange sounding, but also sounds, it also tastes really nice. It isn't quite so healthy because of the chips, but as a soup, you can't fault it. It's one of the easiest, one of the tastiest, and one of the healthiest starters that you're ever gonna do. Um, and it just tastes divine. It tastes like it should have a lot more calories than it actually has. But bear with me, trust me, it's a good one. So now we've got the stock in a nice raw rolling boil. We're gonna add our sweet corn. Like I said before, we're using uh, tinned, but you can use fresh if you want to. Um, tinned sweet corn these days is so good. Um, you don't really need to use fresh, but if that's your preference, go for it. Okay, I'm gonna add the sugar. Just a smidgen, it's about half a teaspoon of sugar just to give it a slight bit of sweetness. Just, I think really what it does is enhance the sweetness that's in the sweet corn. Um, and we're not making a sauce that's, or a soup that's sugary. It's just gonna enhance the sweet corn a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a nudge. Okay, once we bring this to the boil, we're very nearly there again. Okay, there we go. We're gonna add the chicken now. Like I said, this is already cooked, so we're just heating it up again. It's a great way of using up leftover chicken, actually, if that's what you wanna do. And once this goes to the boil, we'll take it off the heat and we'll add the, the egg, and the egg will set and cook with the residual heat from the uh, soup. We won't need to keep the heat on in case. Uh, in fact, it's very easy to go over, overdone with the egg and then it just won't be very nice at all. So we're gonna get this to a nice rolling ball again. And as it's doing that, it's reheating the, the chicken and the sweet corn. Here we go. So as that's bubbling away, I'm gonna switch the heat off. Just get it really boiling. Switch the heat off, add the egg and stir. There you go. The classic egg drop soup. Give a good stir and that residual heat will cook the egg nicely. And now we can add a touch of salt. Not too much, we don't want it salty. And a tiny bit of pepper. Actually, what I did forget, we are going to add some heat again <laughs> because we've got to add the corn flour. All right, do this really quickly so we're not going to cook the egg anymore or as little as possible anyway. There we go. Just needs a little bit. How thick you want it is, to, again, totally up to you. I don't want it too thick. It just needs to be holding its shape, if you like. That should cook out the corn flour. Okay, I think we're about there. Just 
take it off the heat. Start to dish it up. I could eat this by the gallon. That's the thing. Do you eat soup or do you drink soup? Hmm? I'm never sure of that one. Some people say eat. Some, most people say drink, I think. But I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, final touch. Let's put a few of these chives on. Doesn't that look spectacular? There you go, guys. Chicken and sweet corn soup. Get your taste buds ready. Right, guys, tasting time. We've got another little guilty secret. In the chicken and uh, pineapple recipe, I told you where I use uh, prawn crackers as a spoon and it makes a wonderful combination. Same goes for chicken and sweet corn soup. So if you've ever got any spare prawn crackers going, use it. However, I am using a conventional spoon today. So here we go. That is amazing. There is nothing like a good chicken sweet corn soup. It's light, yet it's rich. It's so tasty. And you know all the ingredients in there are good for you, and yet it's just so satisfying, like any good chicken soup should be. Really, really amazing. It's very underrated, I think, but you should go and try it. You should try and make this. It is really, really good and the best thing of all is it's so easy right guys i really hope you've enjoyed the video today you should really try this recipe it's quick it's simple it's tasty it's definitely a no-brainer so if you have liked this video please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't like comment and please share it with everybody that you know because i'm trying to reach as many people as possible also hit that notification bell because once you do it will youtube will notify you of all the videos i put out so you get to see all this great content as soon as i put it out so until the next time have a great week take care bye bye